Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist John Dissauer. Thanks for checking out my blog, New at Dissauer. First one to apologize for not having more updates on my blog over the past week to week and a half. As you can imagine, it has been very, very busy and I just have not had time to uh, update the blog. I, during uh, a Monday through uh, a week and a half later, I'd worked about 90 hours and just was going to home, sleeping for about four hours and hopping back up and going into work. So I just did not have time to do that. But I want to give you an update tonight as to what's going to be happening here over the next uh, two days or so. Uh, we are looking for some heavy rain to be coming our way. Flash flood watches are in effect through Monday evening for the counties shaded in green in southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee, and northeast Arkansas. The red you see at the bottom is a tornado watch that is just to our south and southwest. Showers and thunderstorms are developing across the area uh, and training, so we're getting a lot of heavy rain in, in a short period of time in some areas. Also a lot of vivid lightning tonight, so don't be surprised to have some rumbles of thunder. We could also get a little bit of small hail out of some of these storms. We've already had a few isolated severe thunderstorm warnings issued tonight. Now if you look back to the southwest, there's not too much going on into Arkansas. However, uh, we could see, we, or I shouldn't say we could, we will see more thunderstorm development moving up over the area, especially overnight and through the day tomorrow. Storm Prediction Center says this area in yellow uh, is under a slight risk for severe weather th through 7 a.m. Sunday. The instability levels are very, very low tonight, and I think the threat of severe weather, although we may get some warnings, but the actual uh, threat of uh, ground truth or actual severe weather elements uh, being large hail over an inch or winds over 60 miles per hour should be relatively low uh, tonight. The biggest concern <coughs> excuse me, is going to be the heavy rain. Now new data coming in tonight is indicating uh, the numbers are moving higher for this rainfall for the next two days. This is the 0Z run or the 7 p.m. run of the NAM or the NAM model. This is one of the many models we look at and uh, this is one of the longer range models we've got in already and wanted to show you what the model is forecasting for rainfall amounts again from now which would be Sunday or Saturday night through Tuesday morning anywhere from almost two inches in Farmington upwards of almost seven inches of rain across northwestern Tennessee and even parts of western Kentucky uh, unfortunately I know you, a lot of these areas does, do not need the rain uh, but it is appearing that we could see heavy rainfall amounts uh, something else I did is I went through and I scanned over four different computer forecast models and I averaged all four of them together uh, the RPM run of tonight, so the 0Z RPM, the 0Z NAM, also combined with the 12Z run of the European model and the GFS model. This kind of gives you what we call an ensemble or an average of all the models to try to get more of kind of a center line of, of what we could see over the next, uh, through Tuesday morning. And you can see Martin, Tennessee's average is 4.75, Murray, Kentucky, just over four inches, Portageville, just over four inches of rain. Paducah, we're looking at three and a half inches. Poplar Bluff, three and a quarter. And Cape Girardeau, we could see an additional three inches of rain. I know the area does not need it, but it looks like that's what is going to be our case, and we'll have to figure out a way to deal with it. Also want to mention, uh, I've talked with the Weather Service tonight, as well as the U.S. Corps of Engineers, or Army Corps of Engineers, the Wapapello Dam has not broken. Uh, they aren't concerned about the dam at this point. They, of course, are keeping an eye on it. It has not been compromised. Uh, the water is getting up near the top, and there could be some water going, spilling over it at times, especially if we get more rain in. But they are not concerned about the integrity of the dam. There's been a lot of rumors going around. Uh, when you start getting a lot of this type of stuff going on, flash flooding, everybody's concerned about levees and dams, rumors spread very quickly. So the latest from the Weather Service and from the U.S. Corps, Army Corps of Engineers the dam has not been compromised. Uh, they aren't concerned about it being compromised, although they are keeping an eye on that and the water levels. And of course, uh, some of that water could go over the top of it. At this point, they're not expecting a big rush of water or anything like that. So again, it's not compromised, and they aren't concerned about it being compromised. Uh, is the latest indication I've gotten from them. That is the latest from here in the Storm Team Center. Heavy rain possible. Keep the uh, raincoats handy and life jackets handy perhaps if the flash flooding continues uh, and we'll just have to get through this next couple of days and try to get this water through the river system thanks for checking out the blog and have a great night